Last week, I was interviewing Wisconsin Congressman Paul Ryan, the Republican vice presidential candidate in 2012, and I asked him if he had any advice for Governor Walker should the governor become an official candidate for president. Ryan laughed, thought for a moment, and then said, yeah, I've got lots of advice for him. I'll let him know what that is. But then after another pause, Ryan offered one suggestion. Have fun, he said. It is a pleasant experience. When I expressed surprise that he would use the word pleasant to describe running for national office, Ryan said it is. Well, not always. Wednesday, Governor Walker got a taste of what's to come with a certainly unexpected question about evolution during his talk on trade in London, and not one but two profiles on his college years by the Washington Post and Boston Globe. In these parts, Walker is well known. He's far better known than Senators Baldwin and Johnson, better known than perhaps even Congressman Ryan. It's hard to find anyone here who doesn't have a strong opinion of the governor. But despite three election victories in four years, despite surviving an extremely contentious recall election, Walker remains something of a novelty to national and certainly international media, the new bright, shiny object in their universe. The governor has gotten off to a quick start in his quest for the presidency, and he's received some early favorable reviews. But soon the governor will experience the yin and yang of running for national office. As quickly as the media pundits build you up, they can knock you down, often aided and abetted by rival campaigns. Politically speaking, Scott Walker has always been the happy warrior, relentlessly optimistic. But running for president is a test like no other, and the fun is just beginning. Thanks for being with us today. I'm Mike Goucher, and I'll see you again next week on Upfront.